Hello friends, my name's The Real Emil and welcome to a brand new Let's Play here on my channel. This is a London Racer released for the PlayStation 1 and PC back in the year 2000. Now, this game is kind of interesting and what I mean by interesting is that it's pretty there. Um, but we'll get into why in a second. Right, let's... I uh, may as well just... Yeah, there we go. 2K0, why not? Let's go with that. Uh, so, I tried playing through this game before on stream. We're still on stream. Hi, stream. Um, however, I kind of cocked up when it came to the aspect ratios. I didn't... Oh, sorry. I shouldn't say aspect ratio. I should actually say sort of like what angle the thing was playing at. And, yeah. So, I've had to restart the game. Hopefully, the stream doesn't mind. They don't seem to. Anyways, uh, London Racer. So, let's quickly get into some of the reasons why this game is a bit there. So, first of all, um, we have the track list. These are all the tracks in the game. Eight tracks. That, that's all you get with London Racer. Um, now, you may have noticed in that sort of opening splash screen, there was many other names. Nope, they don't appear. It was just those eight tracks. Uh, the option list, to be honest with you, is pretty decent. I mean, it's a PS1 game, so it's got exactly sort of what you'd expect in it. However, my favourite bit about this game is the copyright infringement, as you're about to see. So the game has a garage system, which is fair enough. I mean, you can upgrade certain bits of your car. In fact, we will do. We'll buy a turbo, buy some tyres as well for our little uh, car. So anyways, uh, let's head to the showroom and see some of the amazing cars on offer, like the Trafalgar, which is the quickest car in the game. Uh, also, you'll notice my car is a Nimi. This car is an Opel Aster. This is a Bittle. This is a BWM. This is a Horch DD. This is a Trafalgar. So they decided not to get the rights for the actual real cars. However, they've basically ripped off the names and the models, which is just absolutely fantastic. Yeah, 200 sub hype. Woo! We're on the road there. We're definitely on the road. So anyway, speaking of on the road, let's get on the road with our Nimi. Our first track is the M25 South. Uh, so let's head into that. I'm going to probably do uh, two tracks an episode, so four episode Let's Play. Not the longest Let's Play in the history of the world, but, I mean, the, the game isn't particularly long, so whatever. Anyways, let's go, go, go for the most exciting racing you've ever seen. So the first thing you'll notice is the graphics. Yeah, I wasn't joking, this game was released in the year 2000. These are graphics from the year 2000. They're not very good. This game is older than Gran Turismo 2. And Gran Turismo 2 looks a hell of a lot better than this game does. Um, Horch, haha, Audi references, hurdy dirty there. Really? That's kind of cool. Anyways, apparently I can't hit that speed camera. So those speed cameras will become an important thing, as you will see in the next race. Also, bye bye, my Mini has more turbo. Notice, by the way, my uh, opponents for this race, a Voxel Astra, oh sorry, an Opel Astra, a Bittle, and a BWM. Cars which have much superior... Um, performance stats however uh, I'm still racing against them and I'm going to apparently beat them in my Nimi so yeah that, that's a thing apparently oh there's a exciting drag race going on at 67 miles per hour um, I didn't get the speed camera god damn it I really wanted to get that speed camera um, oh yeah Horch as in yeah I, I kind of get it now anyways yeah <laughs> I, I guess the Trafalgar's got the same thing going on with sort of like um, British references or because Jaguar British or at least it was no way it was a Ford I, I, I don't know um, why they've decided anyways um, <laughs> there is a phone box because of course London Racer can't have the without phone boxes so basically uh, Ludo informed me yesterday that apparently as much as London Racer is terrible there are actual, um, there are some spin-off versions of this game. And one of which was called Paris Racer, which is of course what he grew up with, being French. Uh, which was apparently awful, and basically exactly like this game. There was also uh, a sequel to this game, called London Racer 2, which I don't really know much about. However, by the looks of it, it's also pretty darn awful. Oh no, police roadblock, whatever shall I, oh. Anyways, uh, we are gonna win our first race by cheating. And we're going to collect our price money. Also, look, we got a 40 grand bonus. I, I, I don't know why we got a bonus, but we got 40,000 grand bonus on the first race. So do you know what that means? We've got 48 grand. And guess what that means? As you're about to find out, 
Let's just quickly save the game data. Oh, this game. I can't believe I've had to play through it a second time. In case you're wondering, I yeah, as I said at the start, I kind of cocked it up. So yeah, also we're going to be racing around London City in this episode as well. So I'll be an next track. So anyway, £48,000. So that means we can now buy the best car in the game. F from, from the first race. This is a game. Also, if you'd like to pay attention to the top of the screen right now, you'll see race menu E. They can't English very well. No, this was apparently developed by a Dutch studio, I think. Um, now he was born of the auto union. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember about auto union stuff. Anyways, let's get on track at London City. I'm not really going to do anything else to the car because the car is perfectly fine. Um, my price money isn't. And yes, I am saying price money because, again, that's what the game calls it. That's what the game calls it. It's great, isn't it? Th this really... Right. This really is, for me, the room of driving games. People say, oh, Big Rigs, it's so bad, you know. Ugh. I think, honestly, this game is... I wouldn't say it's as bad as Big Rigs. It's obviously got more content than Big Rigs. It actually, well, sometimes works, unlike Big Rigs. However, this game and speed... Look at all the speed we're getting in our Mini. 88 miles an hour, fantastic. Also notice how that mile per hour thing has a slash. The price of money. Yes, money is price. Price is money. Fisher price money, that's what it is. Oh no, the Rossers are here. Oh yeah, by the way, the police are in this game. That That's all they do. Also notice how the AI went through the police car then, because the police cars do not chase after the AI. They just t chase after my car. Let's knock over the... Yeah, you get radar bonus. Now, bear in mind, apparently when you knock the speed cameras over, you get more money for knocking over the speed cameras than you do for winning any of the races. This is a game. This is a genuine game. This was, you know, a game which I had. I just genuinely had as a kid. I thought it was actually a decent enough game. But, no, apparently it's awful. It's the worst thing ever. It really is, well, I wouldn't say it's the worst thing ever, because it's fun in a really, really crap way, but, I mean, everything about this game, I didn't even know the police were after me. Okay, whatever. Also, notice the police sirens are the absolute worst. They they just are the worst. They're almost as bad as, actually, I'd say they're worse than the sirens of GTA 3. Let's use the boost. Also, those police cars have, like, W16 Veyron engines in them, for whatever reason. Because they can accelerate from like 0 to 60 and catch up with you in about 0.5 of a second. Anyways, look at it, it's exciting racing. Oh look, Big Ben just popped in. You know, a really big monument in London in a game called London Racing, which is all about all the monuments and stuff. It, it also, yeah, the Skybox is... a thing. It does things. I don't know why it does the things it does, but it does. Um... The actual track design itself isn't too bad. There is a decent amount of variety. There are country lanes. There's, um, you know, city streets like you're seeing now. There's the M25. You know, there's some relatively interesting track variety. However, I mean, uh, also, yeah, there's some really horrible clip issues and also camera issues, as you'll probably notice later on. Let's knock over another speed camera because I, I will not Right. We got 40,000 bonus in the last race. Now, my best bonus for this race so far was 20,000, but bear in mind, I didn't get any bonus on the M25 race, so I'm actually trying to figure out whether the bonuses sort of continue along in the races, because I'm kind of curious. Also, yeah. Admittedly, you can get boned a little bit, like I did when I got my first warning by the most unintimidating police officer in the world, and by the most unimitating, I mean the most bored actor in the world. He's just like, this is your first warning. This is your second warning. One more warning and you're coming with us. Oh, there we go. That was some, uh, yeah. The handling system is broken. And to be perfectly honest with you, because, wait for it, colossal understeer, colossal understeer drift. Also, apparently I got no damage from that, okay. Uh, there is a bit of catch up on the AI. I don't really understand how the AI work. That's what they do. Essentially, they pull in front of you and then they'll stop. However, that usually happens when you're just about to cross the finish line, which is kind of NFS 2015 E, I guess. Also, a car is apparently materializing out of thin air. Is that a cop car or is that just the Aster? I don't know. 
Anyways, let's duck behind this bus because I don't believe... I believe if you do that, the cops don't see you. Or do they? I don't know. There's so many police cars on the track. I don't know if they're actually trying to chase me or not, though, at the moment. Uh, oh, he is, by the looks of it. Uh, don't really need to go into the repair station because it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, so let's speed past here. Again, if you're in traffic, also, not more than one cop car can not chase after you at the same time, from what I understand. So... It's literally just one police car gives pursuit, does that, and then goes away for the rest of the race. Um, and then another one will materialise out of nowhere. They stop in exactly the same positions each time, just waiting for you. And yeah, that's basically what happens. I am. I, I know I said I'm not going to go into the repair station, but I am because I want the boost. Also, yeah, by the looks, I don't know why, but after the cops have finished chasing you, they just become normal traffic cars. They don't chase you or anything. Uh, because apparently they can't after they've chased you it's sort of you know they're done again big ben pops in building popping 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 now admittedly it's ps1 game you'd expect some popping however this game is pretty awful for it and unfortunately if it was like as graphically advanced as the gran turismo games was i could kind of forget it but it really isn't god this game is crap it's not the best it really isn't the best. Again, I still like this game because I think it's funny in its crapness. I It's kind of like Big Rigs. It's one of those games which you just kind of want to play just to sort of see it with your own eyes. And also, I do think it's a better game than Big Rigs. It's probably more fun. Also, yeah, I just noticed his tire actually sort of clips and stuff. Uh, I like how the speed camera debris sort of still lays in the road. I mean... That's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, San Andreas didn't really do that. If you turn around for breaking a lamppost for more than, like, five seconds, it'd disappear. So I guess that's something you have to give the great game credit for, but... Yeah, there's not really much else. Are we going to get overtaken just before the finish line? I think we might do. Bear in mind, of course, it doesn't actually matter if I win the races or not, because either way, I still get my bonus, uh, which helps me to buy new vehicles and stuff, so... Yeah. Doesn't particularly matter into the Opal Manta, and the Golf smashed him out the way as well. I didn't actually know the AI cars could collide with AI cars, but they can. Um, yep, that's the collision detection. That's the collisions. Also notice, can I still get first? No, I can't, because I'm being slowed down. I'm being sped up again. There you go. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, so you might notice that was the second race in the game, and I've now got £102,800. Yes. Yeah. So there we go, at least that means I have enough money in the next episode to afford a brand new car. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy a new car in the next episode, and then we, in the next episode we're also going to be doing the country route to Oxford and Oxford. So join me for that. Anyways friends, I do hope you've enjoyed, I want to thank you all very much for watching, my name has been The Real Emil, and until next time, farewell. Okay, that was um, enlightening, enlightening is a good word I think. Ugh. <sighs>